Oh, that's what I gotta do. this first Bro, how do I get down there again? Ugh, it's been so long. The worm. He wormin'. Like, dude, what am I looking at? Isn't this with all, like, the mouse stuff? Oh, I gotta <sighs> go up this way. There's just no way that's like the one way to get down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ironically, how do I get down there again? Oh my goodness. Don't remember how to get down here. I don't even remember how to get into the... I don't even remember what part of the game this is. Yeah, three, three weeks ago. How the hell do you get there? Like, I actually, I actually don't remember. <sighs> yeah, how's your AC there, buddy? Why are you why are you such a hater? 
I'm not hating. What have you been doing all day? I went to work and then I came home. Yeah, I mean like after that. Like have you just been laying in bed all day agonizing in the, the one thrilling degree heat? Yeah, it's it's eighty five in here right now. Jeez. Yeah. Does your fan just have like no effect? Uh, I mean, it's blowing like it's uh, it's literally a foot away from me. Right? You know, it helps a little bit. But like literally, one once the air goes like three feet, it's just like oh, the cold air just disappears. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's just too hot. Oh, boring, dude. Listen, man. It's a miracle I'm even playing this game right now. Why? Because I, like, I don't want to play anything. I mean, there's something to play that I know. What? Oh, I think we both know. I do not feel like playing Elder. I don't even own it. What are you yapping about? I do not own the Elden Ring DLC. Oh, I don't spot for you. That will not be necessary. I mean, uh. <sighs> uh. Yeah. I'm a play. Yeah. I'm a play, bro. Please tell me you went back and watched the VOD today. I didn't. I'm not kidding. That's like a that's like a must watch stream. They added cars and lethal company. They really? The cruising update. Dude, no one no one is here. Everyone is gone. It's cause like it's just hot and it's just everything sucks. No Dude, game. I like no one is is here. Joel's gone, Reed's gone, Savita's gone, Simon's gone. Everyone literally quit. There's yeah. no one left. What just happened? <laughs> I I literally think I literally think that stream last night is actual stream of the year. It didn't end till like three AM though. But it was like it was worth like every second, dude. Did Barry say anything to that message you put? <laughs> he said, what is that email? It's all his head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The first message moment. What is that emo? Have you ha have you seen um have you have you seen anything from that stream last night? 
Um, I saw his the Discord picture change to like him like some sort of mummy. Um, mummy. Yeah, dude. His Discord. Okay. Uh, let's just say that uh, let's just say that Brit's not gonna be happy when she gets back. We'll put it that way. Did they like destroy stuff, dude? <laughs> dude, they did like everything. Oh my goodness, dude. They Brit brought bought like a brand new like couch or something, <laughs> and and they completely destroyed the couch. The one like fat dude has one mod just like dove onto the couch and broke it. <sighs> it was really funny. And then E Rob like literally couldn't stand. Yeah, I'll watch it. How did I, how did I ever How did I ever get over here? Stuff. Yeah. Gears of War. All this kid talks about is Gears of War, Gears of War. Yeah, it sucks that I got wait like, two years, dude. Two years for what? For Gears of War. What do you mean you have to wait two years for it? It's when it comes out. What, the collection? No, the stupid new game. The prequel. Oh. Okay. Oh, I have literally never gone in this room before, is that why? Oh my god, we made it. <sighs> Let's go, dude. Okay. Bottom right up. Bottom right. How would you ever know that? <laughs> At one point during the stream, they, uh, they try playing Twister, <laughs> and that goes about as well as you'd probably expect it. Let's see, up left, up left, bottom left, bottom left.
freeing all the cats. place now. Such a classic. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Classic. Spore access. In the Arctic section of
The Arctic section, you say? Yeah, Josh, let's just say there's a there's a reason that E Rob is not live today. What? I said let's just say there's a reason E Rob is not live today. Yeah. Yeah. That... I mean, you said he could barely stand, so Yeah, he is uh he's cooked, bro. Bro was bro was fighting for his life towards the end of that stream. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? All the way back up here. Oh my freaking goodness, man. Yes, let's do it again. Of the fish biome, directly above the creepy beluga, the stalactites in the top right corner can be broken to reveal a pathway into a room containing a gigantic puzzle. In order to even begin to solve this puzzle, you need to first obtain the wheel item from freeing all the cats, or accessing that area before freeing all the cats, which can also be done. Regardless, once you have the wheel, you're able to access the next room to the right, where the puzzle really is. This button turns on a van, so come down here and throw your frisbee between these two blocks. <laughs> Uh, you watching it? No. Dude, what? aim the aim the thing, please. I was watching an Elden Ring video, dude. <sighs> Elden Ring. You know, like it's a good, like good games. Uh huh. Yeah. Blocks, and then use the wheel to move those blocks beneath the button to the left. Then just go back to that button, and the fan will blow the frisbee up where it will press the first button. For this okay. Second button, you just want to be able to access the top right of this room just by moving the blocks out of the way. And the third and final button is accessed from the previous room, but you have to move the blocks out of the way first. Now you can open the chest. Okay.
Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Let's see what I gotta do here. Yoink. <clears throat> Obtaining the brick egg. Maybe my favorite of the egg puzzles in the entire game can be found right where you find the remote control in the snake area. You're gonna need the ball to break these blocks. And then it's breakout time, baby. And now, in the snake area, you're gonna need their game can be found right where you find the maybe my favorite of Hello. Hello. What the stupidity is? What are you guys doing? I'm sitting here. Uh, playing. You missed an animal. Well. Well. Uh. What are you? We're just chilling. Yeah, real. Taking chill. It's 83 in here. Help me. Dude, are all of you like. Did you not have air conditioning? He's reading, he's reading no, I was, I was reading his chat. Yep. No, I knew it. I knew it. It is hot in Texas, though. I will say that. It's Texas. It's hot here. Help me. It's ra it's raining though. Let's see what's the weather at home? I almost lost uh, my air conditioning. 
Why? What happened? You almost, you almost broke it? No, the capacitor, like... Exploded? Our, our capacitor died. So we had to... Thank goodness we had an extra one. We had to replace it. You see, you see the one I sent you said? Yeah, I'll hop on later. <laughs> yeah. Why is this so much harder than it should be? Because it is. Oh, that's why. There we go. Take me now. <laughs> The egg puzzles in the entire game can be found right where you find the remote control in the snake area. You're gonna need the ball to break these blocks. And then, it's breakout time, baby. And now, also in the snake area, you have to use the remote control to take... Oh, duh. Let me see which ones I have again. We're at 56 now. I have 56 and 57. I need 58 and 59. Now, once you have the wheel from the cats, you can just use that to roll through the left-hand wall. Dang it, I knew there would have been something about the cat. Oh my god. <sighs> going up now. Nope, it's still going down. Nice one.
Our next egg is a sapphire egg. Is at the bottom of this room. In order to reach the very bottom of this room, you're gonna need the lantern. Let's turn that on, and that's the fall move. Those pesky birds that are barring your progress. On a in order to reach the our next egg. Is Why did I do that? Why did I do that? If I had a dollar for every time somebody came down the stairs and turned all the lights on and ran right back up those goddamn stairs, I'd have two dollars. Sixty-two, sixty-three, and sixty-four. Here's a really cool one. At this location inside the cat factory, a sneaky little trick can be done. If you jump on this lily pad and then throw your frisbee between two of the moving mouse platforms, you oh, that's how you get through. Okay. Okay, I see. I see it's good. Wow. Turn these freaking lights off. Like, literally, I'm not even playing a game. I'm just sitting here on YouTube and my computer's hot. Well, of course your computer's hot. It's not... You're cooling it with, like, 80-degree air. that thing all the way to the left into this hidden alcove containing a chest with the obsidian egg we're almost done only two more left in order to solve this with the obsidian egg we're almost done brother what in the how do i get all the friggin way up there to
only two more left in order to solve this one you're gonna need the ball because you can see those blocks right above me right now oh you're also gonna need the top first use the top to reveal this button and then <laughs> use the ball just very carefully to reveal this passageway you know what to do. Use the sling. <laughs> to press the button, make sure you have the remote control equipped don't get crushed and then jump off at the last second you could also use the top up here for an escape route the next room is a multi stage puzzle using the wheel, the top, and the ball. First, use the top to dig over here. This is gonna... I'm gonna show you where the chest is containing the egg. Over to the right, you can see that you can use the wheel here. Do so in order to make a little bridge to jump over to the left and hit the first button. Now, cross... over to the right and then use the top again over here to dig down revealing another path follow this path all the way to its end to hit the second button now head all the way to the left inside of this large cavern in order to solve this you first need to use the remote control and then the ball to get rid of all
all those blocks in your way. And then I used the frisbee in order to hit that button, which dropped me through the trapdoor down here, where you again have to use the top to dig. Doing so reveals the last button. You can dig over to the right and then open the chest to obtain. the crystal egg. The final egg can be found down in the bottom left corner of the cat factory. There's a little hidden passageway right here. And this is Why do we not get all of the stuff in the cat factory when we're down in the cat factory? He understand how difficult it is for me to figure out how to get to the cat factory. is where the egg is, but then further to the left you can see the obvious yellow structure where you have to use the wheel. There are two buttons. The obvious yellow structure where you have to use the wheel. There are two buttons. One of them I just put the slink on, and the other one I stepped on. Easy peasy. And the final egg is... Like, why was this so easy to get? Sixty-fifth egg. It's yours, the golden egg. And now for the prizes. For obtaining eight eggs, the bottom door opens, giving you access to one of the most important items in the entire game: the flute, used for solving many, many puzzles. For obtaining sixteen eggs, your prize is a pencil. You can use this to write on your map. Now you might be thinking, what? What kind of a prize is that? Well, it could be very useful for solving at least one big puzzle in the next layer. And I'm going to show you that in the next video. For obtaining thirty-two eggs, you are awarded with a necessary item for secret hunting and exploring the world the top. And now, for obtaining all 64 eggs, you are awarded with the 65th egg. If you're stuck and you don't know what to do with this, keep watching. If you want to figure it out for yourself, please stop watching now. Thank you. All the way back in the endgame area where you first fought the manticore. In the top right corner over here, you can dig down using the top. And then you can move this ominous looking manticore door, manticore, <laughs> to move one in another location. So, to find that other location, head all the way to the left. I've already done so, but you can use the top right here to dig down, revealing this room with ominous music playing. And here, is the incubator. Okay. Wanna figure it out for yourself? Please stop watching now. Thank you. All the way back in the end game area where you first fought the Manticore. Now, thank you. All the
Way back in the end game area where you first fought the Manticore. In the top right corner over here, you can dig down using the top. And then you can move this ominous looking Manticore door, Mantidore, to move one in another location. So, to find that other location, head all the way to the left. I've already done so, but you can use the top right here to dig down. Hold on, what? I'm revealing this room with ominous music playing. And here is the incubator. And immediately, another manticore is born. And it's not friendly. Don't think it thinks that you're its mama. It does not. It wants to eat you and kill you with lasers. Maybe not in that order. So do what any self-respecting blob would do in this situation and run your ass off to the left. Over here, you would be blocked by the manticore, but you moved it already. So use the remote to get inside here and then the ball to try to quickly get through to the other side. I'm not moving very quickly, but you should. Don't burn up with lasers like I did. And then you have this familiar looking pipe organ. Again, you know what to do. Take out your flute and play a note. Open wide. It's time to go on a little trip. Okay. Oh my god. Where's the friggin' ball, man?
populated soon enough in the next video thank you very much for watching i hope this guide helps you and i'll see you real soon with the next one okay beginning and with an amazing community and a lot of community involvement it was successfully solved this image right here on the blackboard gives us the hint and left down left up left up right right again right one more time <laughs> up and finally <laughs> left and we find ourselves at a large structure floating hidden in the sky the bunny temple with quite ominous music playing why hello there oh wouldn't it be funny if it just ended right there Elites are safe. <laughs> so we're gonna travel through the digestive tract of this gigantic bunny, and then with a we pop out the other side. But wait, something feels different. And as I walk slowly <laughs> to the precipice, it's then that I notice my blue eyes. When you into the air, I sprout wings. You gain the ability to transform into a moth and fly infinitely at high speed when you double jump, and it allows you to explore this world so much faster. Another jaw-dropping, <laughs> mind-exploding moment in a game filled with jaw-dropping, mind-exploding moments. It's crazy, but this is not the end. In the next video, we'll be exploring even deeper. Thank you very much for watching. I hope. Bro, what? How many more achievements are in this game, dude? I have two more. Oh, I gotta light all the candles and I gotta sneak up on the squirrel. Okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> In Animal Well, unlocking the sneak achievement involves a precise sequence of actions. Upon starting a new game, players should progress through the opening segment, including acquiring the firecracker to bypass the first ghost. Upon reaching the area with the four animal statues, it's advisable to save the game using the nearby phone to facilitate reloading if necessary. Subsequently, players should ascend the ladder to encounter the chameleon boss and continue rightward until they reach a room with a chest. Accessing this chest requires maneuvering to the top right-hand corner of the screen, dropping down to the platform with the controller, and guiding it leftward to access the chest. Inside the chest, players will discover a key, which unlocks the door in the top left-hand corner of the adjacent area. After traversing the platforms with hedgehogs, unlocking the door, and carefully progressing to the next screen, players will encounter a squirrel. Approaching the squirrel cautiously and seizing its nut triggers the sneak achievement, temporarily boosting the playable character's health. If players startle the squirrel before obtaining the prompt to take its nut, they can reload their save near the animal statues and retry. This process enables players to make multiple attempts without replaying substantial portions of the game, ensuring they can successfully unlock the sneak achievement. That's what that does.
love missing jumps. What the scary Wait a second. What? Unlock test test really issues. It's advisable to save the game using a nearby phone to facilitate reloading if necessary. Subsequent. Okay, I went the wrong way. Oops.
so many freaking items. I literally had the lantern out. Where is this dude? Hmm. Okay, it's like right up at the start. Hmm. <laughs>
they all like up here? What am I doing?
Why do I do that? Why do I always do that?
did light that one? Are you kidding me? God, it is that one, dude. Never mind, I did light that one up. So what the f Which one am I missing? this one.
Okay, well, I guess now we can go see what the E metal does. E metal. Did you say something? Yeah. Dude, I, I put my face up to the AC thing, and then I back up, and it's like I'm stepping outside. Dude, you should get like a like a tube or something to attach to it, and then you can like. Wow. This lace, this lace so hot. I just, I just don't. I literally, I just don't want to die. This, this is. Terrible E metal help guide. I thought that your air conditioning worked well. I thought like Joel's was the only one that kind of sucked. Is it? No, that's just because he didn't like it. He fixed it, but like before his like window, he like it was like all scuffed out. He didn't have anything. Why doesn't yours work anymore? And because it's just too hot. Like literally, <laughs> it's not powerful enough to cool this room anymore. Because it's, it's it's it literally can't. It is too hot. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. That sucks. Like, if it was, like, what, how hot is it outside right now? Too hot, that's the answer. It's 83? It's almost 10 o'clock and it's 83 degrees outside. Yeah. Unbelievable. Eight, 83, it says, eight, my thing on the AC thing says 85, but it's up that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if it was, like, maybe, like, 75, it could be... So it's just not powerful enough? Yeah, it could be, like, air-conditioned correctly. But it's, it's just too hot. Right. Like when it was when it was in the seventies, it was like my room was seven degrees, like good chill indeed. But like now it's in the eighties, it's it just was it doesn't do anything. It does not do anything. Let's go go and knock. We are so cooked. Chat, am I cooked? My favorite part is going down in this stupid area. Oh my god, bro. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Dude, I, I, I... Do you know what Reed was saying the other day before he left? What is that? He said that he wanted to play Halo. 
Well, I know I was just, he was reiterating he wanted to play, and Joel yeah. was dissuading him once again. Positive. I'm really gonna play with him, dog. Joel's up. Yes. So, if you ever watch those YouTube videos, those are super interrogations where they're like a half an hour long. Like an hour long, dude. Well, like the old JCS videos? Yeah, like where they interrogate the people that like kill them. You know? Uh, yes, I enjoy those, yes. I like the interrogation videos. What about yeah. it? That's favorite. You know what you should play on stream right now? What? Dead Space Remake. Yeah. Can you? No. Why? I'm playing Animal Well. Well, maybe you can sub in it. A... Uh huh. That would be so epic. So epic. Quiet. Oh, god damn it. What is going on?
the sigma. <sighs> Awesome. Let's go.